I'm Kevin Cameron. Here I am in my shop. I have more examples of human ambition gone wrong. Not unreasonably, when Yamaha decided to make production racers loosely based on the popular uh, R5 and RD350 twins, they started out with the stock crankshaft. The center of that crankshaft is pressed together with this spline. How did they choose the size of this spline? It had worked in the previous model that had been produced for many years. However, when this center section joined in this fashion, this is pressed together with a force of seven tons. When this was sent racing, this was the result. Breakage. The shaft was too small. The radius here was as big as they could make it. So, they made the shaft bigger. You can see they made it quite a bit bigger. This is the racing part. This is the production part. And when they pressed this together, there was a stress involved from forcing this shaft into this flywheel disc. Meanwhile, to save weight, the crank pins that they had used had a hole down the center. But when the racing machine revved higher than the street machine and then revved higher every year thereafter, these crank pins began to move a little bit. So they thought, let's increase the press fit. We'll take away the hole and we'll use a solid crank pin, which will be harder to squeeze and therefore will increase the strength of the pressed joint. This pressed joint goes together with a force of between three and five tons. Now they were pressing this shaft into this hole and then they were pressing a solid crank pin into this hole. The result of which was increased stress between the inner main shaft hole and the outer crank pin hole, causing a crack to appear in this little fillet radius, which is the join between the center shaft and the flywheel itself. And the result of that double increase was that on occasion, the inner flywheel on TZ750 would break in two. It would open up inside your crank case like a pair of brake shoes. See these marks? Those were made in half a second that it took for the crankshaft to stop turning when it flew to pieces. The little failure came from this fillet. It spread across these fracture surfaces and what had been one solid forging, which looks so durable, broken too. So this is one of the reasons that there is R&D. This is one of the reasons that there's prototype testing because you can't necessarily tell from a computer forecast that this will turn into this.